Hi, my name is Munirash, assistant professor on the Crinology department in Hedy Shaker Hospital, Sfax, Tunisia. The exemption from fasting during the month of Ramadan is authorized by Islam in case of acute or chronic disease such as diabetes mellitus. However, most of Muslims' patients did see that fasting. We present here a survey of diabetic patients treated with insulin during the fasting month of Ramadan. The aim is to evaluate the proportion of diabetic patients on insulin which interrupt fasting during Ramadan and the reasons that lead to the interruption. This is a cross-sectional observational survey on diabetic patients treated with insulin who participated in fast during Ramadan 2013 conducted during the month following Ramadan and proposed to all endocrinologists willing to participate. 526 patients were included, 51 which corresponds to 9.7 of them were with type 1 diabetes. The mean age was 36.8 years for diabetes type 1 and 58.3 years for diabetes type 2. The mean duration of diabetes was 11 years for diabetes type 1 and 14.4 years for diabetes type 2. During Ramadan, more than 55% of patients with corresponds to 55.9% for diabetes type 1 and 54.9% for diabetes type 2 were treated with insulin analog and over a third with mixed insulin. Among included patients, 71.5% reported having fasting during the month of Ramadan without interruption. The average number of non-fasted day was three, mainly due to hypoglycemia occurrence and physician decision. Multivariate analyzers suggest that main factors associated with fasting without interruption after adjustment were diabetes type 2, male sex with a trend for patients living in urban area, for patients with high level of education, and also for patients treated with insulin analog. Since the most of diabetic patients are willing to fast during the month of Ramadan, answering a good control of plasma glucose, avoiding potential hypoglycemia during daytime fasting is a challenge for both physicians and patients. Further national and even international study will be helpful to understand and improve patterns of care of diabetic patients treated with insulin willing to fast Ramadan. The authors thanks all the investigators and scientific collaborative for supporting this study.